Do you want to buy the best players in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Well, if the answer is yes, don't buy FIFA points. Just head over to u7buy.com for your cheap, fast, safe, and reliable Ultimate Team coin. And during the team of the season period, u7buy have their biggest discount ever where you guys can save up to 15% off your order by using my code RRB at checkout. So, do you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder? If the answer is yes, you're in the right place. If you want me to build you your own personal squad builder, all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps, all right? All you guys got to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications, all right? And once you guys have done that, take a picture, screenshot that, head over to my Instagram, follow my Instagram, and then DM me that screenshot of you following the steps. And once you guys have done that, I can then build your squad, all right? It's that simple, it's that easy. And then, you can end up like these guys. Yo, 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 what's going on, people? Welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel. Today, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you one of the best, most overpowered 700k hybrids that you guys can get in FIFA 21. This team is indeed built around the new release objective card, who goes by the name of Manuel Lanzini. It's a moment team this season card, and it really, really does look like a fantastic card. So, yeah, I'm guessing a lot of people will be completing this card, and I'm pretty sure he got it for scoring the absolute worldie against Tottenham in a crazy 3 3 draw. But, yeah, yeah, with that being said, make sure you guys do smash a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and check out one of the most my most recent foot champions challenge challenge I did uh, do on the channel where I let an 84 plus times 20 pack pick my foot champions team. Link down below in the description. But anyways, without further ado, enough for the chit chat. Let's get straight into the squad builder. Let's go. Okay, guys, so as you can see right now on your screens for the 700k team, the formation that you guys want to start off with, or you can use it in game, is completely up to you. But this formation is predominantly just for you guys to start off with to get full chemistry. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you what formation to switch to in game. But starting off with an absolute bang in the striker spot, we do have a really, really good overpowered meta striker in the game. He goes by the name of Inform Marcus Rashford. If you guys were lucky enough to, I don't know, afford this card, you know, when it near around the time when it was first released then yeah you guys will know how good this guy is all right guys marcus rashford got even gold marcus rashford is fantastic but this inform version the striker card is just next level it's absolutely amazing as you can see he's got five star skill moves four star weak foot he's full of pace got amazing finishing and shot power good dribbling good ball control good agility and in game we all know that he plays like an absolute beast so just make sure you guys go ahead and pick up my boy marcus rashford okay so to partner up with marcus rashford in at the attacking setup in the left wing spot we do have none other than the man himself raheem sterling and it is going to be the 89 rated champions league version this card is fantastic but before i get into that let me know down below in the comments who do you think is better my boy marcus rashford or raheem sterling me personally even though I mean, you guys might think I'm saying this because I'm a United fan, which isn't true. I just generally think Marcus Rashford is, Rashford is better. But you guys let me know down below in the comments. In real life, who do you think is better, Marcus Rashford or Raheem Sterling? But with that being said, um, yeah, Raheem Sterling got a very, very good card in my opinion. The only downside, which in my opinion isn't even really that much of a downside, is the fact that he's got three-star weak foot. But I feel, I feel like in this game, you know, three-star weak foot players are still very, very usable. But the thing is I like about Sterling is that he's very, very pacey. And on the ball, he's fantastic. He's dribbling his agility and balance is crazy 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 good and you guys can really feel that in game so i think he's a really good wide player for you guys to use so yeah let me know what you guys think of uh raheem sterling though in fifa as well because he's he's a, he's a player that not many people do actually use in fifa which is um yeah i, I don't know i i find that quite strange because i actually do feel like considering everyone does you know like their high agility and high balance plays that raheem sterling would be you know one of the players they would go to but just throughout this whole fifa not many people have used him but yeah Moving on into the right wing spot though, we do have a foot freeze card that goes by the name of Lauturu Martinez fantastic player fantastic player really good on the ball fantastic shot on him as well his finishing is crazy good as well guys remember that on this foot freeze card he actually did get um his um preferred foot changed to left foot so yeah on this card he's actually not right foot he's left foot if you guys didn't know that already then look you, you learn something new every day but just want to give you that heads up just in case you know you keep shooting as if he is right foot i mean he does have four star weak foot anyway but still it's always good to know what the strong foot of the player is so on this foot freeze card make sure you guys do um you know acknowledge the fact that he is left footed on this card but yeah fantastic dribbler as you guys can see there look at the dribbling look at the composure look at the ball control look at the, the agility and balance the finishing the pace everything about this card is fantastic make sure you guys do go ahead and pick him up but 
Moving on into the midfield now, the CDM, the rook of this team, the rook of this team is going to be N'Golo Kante. Just look, th this guy is straight fire, right? He's absolutely overpowered, incredible in this game. I highly, highly recommend that you guys do go ahead and pick him up, all right? N'Golo Kante is just amazing. I think everyone knows that defensively he's so good and he, he feels a lot faster than then 70 then 76 sprint speed and uh 79 acceleration like in game he does just really cover ground so quickly he wins the ball back a lot um yeah just a really good solid cdm to have the ideal cdm to have so make sure you guys do go ahead and pick up ngolo kante and uh, in the right center mid spot guys we do have a team of the season con once again in a team he goes by the name of the pool from the Serie A. a really really good card a good box of box um, midfielder but more on the attacking end of things i think this guy is absolutely fantastic fantastic you know um he's a four star four star he's pacey he's fantastic on the ball he's got a really good shot on him he's good at passing he's got good physical he's got good defending he's absolutely fantastic as you can see he's got 96 shot power 97 long shots 90 finishing 92 attacking positioning some good passing stats as well fantastic dribbling decent defending and he does have four star um four star skills actually thought he had four star weak foot but he only has three star but yeah still still, still an, um, an amazing card so yeah make sure you guys do go ahead and pick him up now moving on into the defense we're going to start off with uh, we're gonna start with the right back spot and uh, we do have a future stars card that goes by the name of diego dalo so make sure you guys do go ahead and pick him up man my boy diego dalo absolutely fantastic the future stars version um really really good it gets the job done you know as a fullback as long as you've got a little bit of pace to um to to, to your card and you know you can defend decent um you know you can defend decently then yeah you, you can do a good job in that position and you know dalot he's got a little bit of pace he's got good defending stats and he's good on the ball as well so can't really ask for more make sure you guys do go ahead and pick up my boy diego dalot and in the left back spot guys all right we do have i'm just i'm not really gonna say you, you guys can see all right you guys can see who i'm gonna put there yeah all right that, that's who we have in the left back spot we need him he gets the job done we all know that he's very very overpowered a little bit toxic a little bit ratty but it is what it is all right you want to get them wins and this is what you gotta do so just make sure you guys do go ahead and pick up my boy Ferland mendy all right yeah i'm not even gonna go for his stats we all know how good Ferland mendy is in game so we're just gonna move on and into the two center back spots right i, I can tell you from now we got two center backs no full backs just two center backs in the center back position so you know you don't need to worry about that one we do have team of the season kunde in at that left center back spot fantastic card all right guys you know gets the job done really really well i've tried him out this fifa this team the season one and uh yeah he was absolutely amazing he was a brilliant center back card to use very very pacey great defensively a little bit of strength to him as well i think that this card is absolutely fantastic so yeah make sure you guys do go ahead and pick up my man jules kunde and uh with that being said in the right center back spot guys we do have team of the season romero and i think this card is absolutely amazing and i'm surprised again it's a little bit it's still it's still a little bit like the same thing with, with uh raheem sterling where I'm surprised that not many people i mean i know this card hasn't been out for that long but i thought i would have come up come up against him a lot more i feel like he's got some good links to him now as well with team of the season being out um and you know if people have an icon then yeah this card is just fantastic it really really is a good card um and i'm actually just i literally forgot what his first name is that there's so many romero's um yeah christian that's it it's christian romero there's, there's just there's just too many romero's so yeah christian romero is the card that you want to get this card here absolutely fantastic really really pacey great defensively i mean look at the stats there boys and girls just look at their stats 86 sprint speed 84 acceleration 91 strength 99 aggression 94 stand tackle 94 slide tackle 88 defensive awareness 96 interceptions it's just stuff that you love to see make sure you go ahead and pick up my man romero and in the goalkeeper spot guys we do have a goalkeeper that does i mean if you want to get both center backs on you know 10 chemistry then you have to get really but I don't think it's worth it. I think Romero can do a job on eight chemistry, and th for that reason, um, he he'll be on eight chemistry with loyalty and a manager. But for that reason, I've, I've gone with the the strong link to um, Kunde um, with this inform goalkeeper, the second inform version, the 84 rated Benu. Um, so yeah, um, Romero will be on eight chemistry with a City A manager and uh, loyalty. So yeah, as you guys can see though on your screens, this is the 700k hybrid that you guys want to use right to help you increase your wins in foot champions it's going to work really really well and i recommend that you guys do indeed buy this team but before i do end the video i'm going to show you what formation you could use in game um as well and uh, the formation is going to be the 4-2-3-1 it's pretty 
pretty simple. You guys should know how to set it up in this formation. Lanzini in the camp spot. I think this card, man, is going to be ridiculously overpowered, man. I really, really do. 94 agility, 99 balance. I mean, that is just stuff you love to see. He's 5 foot 6 as well, so he's definitely going to feel, you know, feel really, really agile. It's just a great card. But let me know what you guys think of the team down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It has been your boy RB Plays, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.